everyone, this is Bethany Beauty Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share a haul that I got from Joanne.com. And I had a gift card from my godmother for Christmas, and it is very unlikely that I will be um, anywhere with the Joannes soon. So I went on ahead and um, used my gift card online, which is kind of fun because you get to, you know, look at, pick things out that aren't in store that are online only, so that's kind of cool. So I got this um, stamp set from Just Right, and it's a cling stamp set, and it's at the Beach Oval Medallion labels. And um, slowly but surely, I'm picking up um, the stamp sets for that I already have the dies for. So I have the die that cuts this out. It's the Oval Medallion labels, and it's with um, Spellbinders. It's a Spellbinders die. So I have the die that cuts that medallion out, and I just like, I just like it. And I wonder if I can not necessarily stamp the words. I'll have to play around with it. I mean, I like the words. Don't get me wrong, I like the words too, but it'd be cool just to have that little scene by itself as well. And then it comes with um, three seashells and a starfish. And then ocean treasures left on the shore, nature's gifts to adore. To find a seashell is to discover the world of imagination. Michelle held seashells. I have always loved the beach, the smell of the salty water, the wind in my face, the gentle roar of the waves all combined to create a sense of peace and calm. You know, that would even be good, I think, uh, for a sympathy card. You know, for the right person. And then it also came with this little border. So there's that, and I really like um, that they come on these boards that are already hole punched to fit in a mini notebook, so that's cool. And then I picked up three kind of necessities. I picked up new cutting pads for my big kick. I have this one that looks like this, this blue one, and um, I needed these. And I think what I'm going to do is the one I was using for the top. I'm now going to use for the bottom and then use a new one for the top. So then I have an extra new one. So maybe they'll go twice as far because I don't know if you know, but if you use spell binders, you have to be, you have to keep one without any cuts in it because eventually what happens is then the, when you run it through your machine, the cut lines um, will press into your design or into your paper and leave a mark. And you don't really want that on the back. It's okay, but on the front you want to keep it since they're open I hope that made sense <laughs> and then um, many of you saw or have seen the video where I make the little treat bags with the with the quick cuts die it's not quick cuts it's lifestyle crafts but it's the same thing this little die and it makes a treat bag which is super cute but I was doing it with just my regular um, platform so I went on ahead and because I was doing it with like the vellum and with the other types of thinner paper it was not as easy to try to turn the die around to do the other half to run through half and then turn it around and do it through half again because of the thinner paper if you're doing it with just cardstock it works fine but with the thinner paper it was a little bit of a hassle so I picked up the extended platform and shim and it says the only platform you'll ever need we'll see <laughs> but um so I got this to use specifically with that die and then because it's a um a thin wafer die or a framelit die or whatever I also had to get this the solo thin die adapter for all of my larger nest abilities and to use with this so from what I understand I have to use this and this to be able to cut this bag die which I'm gonna get it all in one pass so that's what makes me happy and I already have the extended plates I just didn't have the extended platform so I got it <laughs> so there's that I'm 
super excited about that. Sorry, I didn't put my mat down, so, and my table has glass on it, so that's why you have that reflection. And I am right out a window. I can show you my view. You get to see my computer. I'm watching a video. It's on pause. And then there's the view out of the window. It faces the front of my house. That's my brother's car. <laughs> Yay for Western Kansas! Look at all those trees! <laughs> and a truck! <laughs> so anyway, there's a little sneak peek of my view. In the summer it's super pretty because all those are fields out there and they're all green and pretty and stuff, but um, not currently. <laughs> So, anyway, I got those. Oh, two other things I got. I got this house mask stamp that is very cute. It is called Sunny Side Up. It is from 2005, and it's a sunflower with a mousy. It's a house mask stamp. And then I got another house mask stamp. This is super cute. This one is called Butterfly Express. And he's hitching a ride on a butterfly. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. So I'm kind of collecting some house mask stamps too. I don't have a whole lot. I have my other two sitting here actually. I made a card with this one recently. This one is Sweet Find. And they're dressed up like candy corns. <laughs> and then I have this one. And he's pushing the cheese on top of the camera, which is super cute. And then I have another one that's falling leaves and it's like a big background stamp but it's not technically a background because there's like mice in it that one's hard to color though that's why it's not out on my desk but um I don't like all the house mouse stamps just some of them so anyway that is what I got I thought I would also show you my little hatter girls I was playing with my hatter girls last night and my new Copics so this one is the Sophia Maria hatter and I used some purple and some pink and made her hair kind of a reddish brown and then a turquoise little flower. I have to say I really like the fine nib on those Copics. It's a lot nicer than the fine nib on the Spectrum Noir markers. And then this one I'm not quite done with. This one is the Melba Flora Hatter. She's so cute. I'm going to have to get another Copic Red, I think, because the two reds that came in that set didn't blend all that well together. So I might have to get another red to work with those. But, again, I really like the fine nib. The hair is Copics, the red is Copics, but the gray is Spectrum Noir. And if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's kind of grainy. The Spectrum Noirs are kind of grainy where the... Um, Copics are a little more smooth in my opinion. I'm not saying that I don't like my Cop my uh, or my Spectrum Noirs anymore. I'm just saying I see a difference, I guess. So anyway, there's her so far. I'm going to color her little band on her dress gray, leave her pearls white and then color her skin. And I'll probably do her shoes gray. So there she is. Super cute. And if you are watching this and you haven't claimed your prize from my giveaway, please go watch the prize or the giveaway winner's video and message me. <laughs> so anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!